this time we're going through a Toxic Refinery Redux, that's Toxic with a C, courtesy of Blue Phoenix. This contains two maps, uh, this one, and a remake of Military Base. And uh, someone's just noticed me, so I think I'll have to stop talking and start shooting. Now there's quite a lot of you, aren't there? Thank you. All right, so the idea of this remake is that it's uh, following the same basic layout, but it's a lot tougher, more uh, populated with enemies. You can see I've got 182 of them down there. Oh, and we've uh, got past the first uh, wave, but uh, we've got plenty more to go. Uh, this is a new area. Oh, there's the, there's the soul sphere on the pillar. Oh, my face. Are they over the other side? Yep. Ow! Little shotgun that's hiding in the corners. That's a sneaky move. All right. So I suppose we'll be... Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, all right, that's a lift that gets you back up. I'm fairly certain in the original map there's no way out of that pit. I could be wrong. All right, that's not going to open. It looks like you're using the borders and that switch to indicate that door. That's nice. Thought so. Ah! This, this is not what I intended. So this is the equivalent of that weird little room, uh, the, the window you can open in the corridor. All right, let's do that again. Okay, that's uh, that's taken care of. Yep, there's the uh, corridor with the window and the pillar. We should be heading towards the donut. I was just lucky that I retreated at the right angle there, otherwise the uh, demons would definitely have uh, trapped me in. So this does look nice. This is a nice remake of familiar areas so far. I see a ton and a half of E1M1 remakes, but uh, not so much for the rest of the episode. Let's go for the blue key and the pitch darkness. Okay, what do you think's gonna happen this time? Aha! Wow, okay, the whole place opened. I was just, uh, Lucky to guess the uh, most harmless area. All right, so that closed that door, did it? What is, where is it going? Oh, okay. And I can open it from that side. And picking up the blue key the first time, presumably closed it, okay. All right, we survived that quite nicely. I, wonder, I can get over there, can't I? No, I can't because I wouldn't be able to step up the ledge. All right. Whoa, okay. Alright. 
So what's down here? Oh yeah, this is the way to that uh, switch. It's interesting this because you you recognise the areas and they're they're all being slightly remixed. The same kind of elements are there, but uh, you take a different way to get them, and I think that's a nice uh, that's a nice way to do a remake. It's not just a carbon copy of the original and spruced up textures. How do I get into the computer room from here? I suppose it would be there. Blew myself up. See this? The computer's been expanded. Got the yellow key inside this uh, sort of computer structure now. Alright, so let's work on getting the secret from here. I don't hear anything going down, so it must be triggered some other way. Mm. Nothing looks special about that. <laughs> ah! You can just walk across, that's great! Whoop! There we go. And that leads you back to the main area. Okay. Uh, there's no other way back, so let's have a look inside that other uh, secret. Oh, well, not, not yet. Steady with the rocket launcher. Fantastic, okay. Does that let me, uh, yeah, it does let me pass, okay. However, I don't want to go that way, I want to go in here. Back, back, good. Uh, that looks a bit small for me to get through. But that's going to, yeah, that's going to open the, um, that's going to open the door on the other side of the toxin pit. Where's this? Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It's the, the lift that goes up from the uh, switch area. Oh, that was only half the puzzle this time. Okay, let's uh, see what we can do over here. Quite a population of shotgunners.
Did anyone else hear the rhythm from the the first level music from Contran there? Um. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, that's the uh, that, so there should be a door that opens somewhere back here when I go there. Maybe not. Maybe not. In the, I've hardly ever been over here in uh, about ten or twenty years. I can't remember what the original version of this uh, area looked like. All right, and that would be. That would be the normal exit, but we don't want to give you that. We want to find the secret one. Not between the lights. Ah, there's the yellow door. <laughs> Very streaky. Didn't know what I was saying in that last sentence. Uh, I tried to say very sneaky, but then I remembered uh, Father Ted, uh, Father Dougal, saying, Oh, that's very cheeky. So it kind of turned into a hybrid of those two words. And we're going up, and... Okay, yeah, that's just the platform going down. Okay. That's a switch. Nice big one, thank you. Let's do that again. Uh, this bit's new. Don't think this place has an analogue. But it does give me the red key, okay. And that is really what I was looking for. All right, red door. Oh, but how do I get over though? Can I, can I just strafe across? I can. Right. Yeah, that is a no. Uh, yeah, I almost, I, I already pretty much checked out this area, I think. Uh, the yellow area. We've, we've, we've sorted that out, I think. Might have another look in here. Was there a second switch that I missed, perhaps? That was one. No, and then I went through... Yeah, there's no, there's no way over there. There's no room to have anything over there. Oh, I thought I got away with uh, not being hurt just then. And that leads me just to the left. So that's a dead end. That's a weird line there. I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with it there. Oh yeah, I didn't go into this area. And, uh, and I was right. I was hoping that that would uh, raise the other half of the bridge as a side effect. It did not. Let's try another place. It 
So that's the uh, that's the place where I'll be able to come up once I find the secret area. Uh, I've been here. Yeah, this was the whole uh, blue key room. <gasps> What have I overlooked? I feel that yeah, going towards where I hear enemies might be a good tactic. I hear, I hear them towards my left. Are they just going to be hiding within the walls here? They're over. They're in here somewhere. Oh no, that's just a disjointed texture. Oh, maybe if I jump my way over there. Oh, that's nice. That's an escape route now. Um, I thought maybe if I jump my way over there. Something will present itself. No such luck. Okay, I give the whole day. Let's do your stuff. So. Oh! I definitely haven't been in there. Just a little, uh... <laughs> Just a weird little secret there. And it didn't raise the platform. Nothing over here that's secret. Unless there's a switch somewhere that I missed on a wall. But I don't know if there is. Just one more check if... Hang on a minute. What's, what's that? Oh, that's, that's just a little uh, portal. Okay. Just wanted one more check of here to see if I'd missed a switch, but uh, there there isn't one. All right. What I'm going to have to do is uh, teleport myself to map E1M9, and I'm going to leave this as an exercise to the watchers. Uh, find out how to raise that last part of the bridge and to get into the secret level. Just checking one more last time to see if I missed anything completely obvious. All right then. So the alternative talking refinery is finished. Uh, we're back in uh, command control, so, but we want to go to map E1M9 instead. No, not map, map E1M9. That one. Thank you very much. Okay. Looks like a bit calmer this time. This is 127 monsters. Uh, and there's the big casket of imps. Been watching the people uh, in London filing past the Queen's uh, 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 lying in state. What do you call it? I don't know. Um, 
it's just such a bizarre scene, this big regal coffin in the middle of the room, and uh, there are all these guards around it. Uh, they look like chess pieces with their uh, different uh, shaped hats. And whenever they have to change over, it's not just a case of, oh, okay, I'll go on a break now. It's They have to stop the queue, and they have to do this... Um, turning over their scepters and walking out in the set formation, it's... it's, uh... it's all a faff. And my mum was very proud that, uh, the... Queen's hearse, uh, stopped next to the Inverudi Garden Centre. Alright, so I'm going to have to... Whoa! This is different! I expected you to come from the pentagram, not to... Not surround me in the middle. That was a nice subversion. Interesting use of the uh, oh, mucus texture on the ceiling as well. Oh. A lot was made of the. Uh, Dates that the BBC News gave on the Queen's coffin as it uh, went down the country, like a, like it was a pizza being delivered. Your orders arrived in Balmoral. Your order is on the way to Edinburgh. Your order has been put in the oven. Oh Jesus Christ! Uh, I'm, I'm going to be put in the Tower of London for that. I did I did not realise what I was saying as I said it. Maybe I'd better concentrate on the level. Oh, that's a that's a great use of the uh, lowering pillars as well. To have something that's a bit more uh, challenging than it originally was. I mean, that's the whole idea of this uh, entire wad. Alright, we have the yellow key, and not much else, that's uh... Oh, excuse me. The, um, oh yeah, not, not there. The yellow door was... And I, I can never get this right in the original military base either. I always get lost here. It's because it's so symmetrical, this is quite a good, um... This is quite a good example of why it's not good to make maps that have the symmetry because it gets it really easy to get lost in. You can't tell which direction you're pointing just from uh, looking at the screen. I suspected as much. Yeah, so instead of having them all from one angle that time, you completely surrounded the player with them. Interesting little decorations with the comp blue scrolling and flashing uh, in front of the brown uh, window textures. I've uh, done that bit. Uh, got the red key. Let's find out what's there. Oh yeah, this is the place where you've got to hit the barrels to reach the switch. Uh, this is uh, more lenient on that count so far. Oh no, there it is. Oh, I'll just do that, thank you. Now, where are the pinkies? They're over there, I saw them to my left. Is there a chain gun in this map? I mean, I should have been uh, more competent at uh, finding secrets, and then I would have got a chain gun. Anyway.
have to speed up my discovery of the secret. I've got to defend my little island. Is that all of them? Yes, it is. No, no it isn't. Oh, okay. Ah! It's non-stop over here. All right. Just uh, giving ourselves some breathing space. I do have a rocket launcher. I don't particularly want to use it. And that'll be the exit switch. Still got a couple of secrets I never discovered in here. Now, where were you wandering around from? Oh yeah, I remember one. Uh, it should be... Yeah, it should be in the last room, actually, where I, where I just was. And I looked at the wall and I didn't see it. And my odds of finding the last room. There we go. Yeah, I, I expected it to be there. Yeah, it is there, but I don't know how to open it. That's my problem. I wonder. Oh no, I suppose the um, the switch in there was what raised this platform, I remember that. <sighs> My little Doom Rabbit has definitely seen uh, better days. Anyway, while I'm wandering around here, I can at least uh, praise the uh, reimagining of these uh, maps. I like that uh, you can you can recognise what they are and where they are. It's just everything's been uh, pulled around a bit, redone, reworked. It's not just a straight copy. The there are some uh, different takes on the rooms. Well, this one is strikingly different. I like how uh, strange that is compared to the rest of the uh, compared to the rest of the level. And yeah, it, this looks like if the id developers had got up on the other side of bed that morning when they made the levels, this uh, this might have been how they turned out. Has very shareware Doom One gameplay, but it's uh, it just looks a bit nicer, a bit spruced up. And uh, I've still got a few secrets that I should go back to. So well done, that was uh, that was really well put together. 